right, so that's in D. So let's mess around in D just a little bit here. That's first off, because whenever I learn a new tune, I like to lay all my notes out in that key so I know, because half the battle is knowing which notes not to play. Because there's so many different choices, you know. We <laughs> just say that was a passing tone. That's right, that's right, that's right. I meant to, well, if you repeat it and do it the same way again, then people will know you meant to do it. You know? <laughs> that's what you have to do in a contest, you know. If you make a mistake, you repeat it exactly the next time through. Oh, that was Sometimes a... Sometimes it works. That was a variation. That wasn't a mistake, that was a variation. <laughs> All right, so, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to play a little scale in D. We're going to start on, uh, and now if, uh, let's get our uh, uh, communication straight here. If I say, well, everybody knows the names of the strings, of course, right? Okay, that's no problem. And if I tell you to put play the F sharp on the D string, does everybody know where that is? Okay, good. And I might say what finger I'm using, too, but if I just call for a note name, because not everybody knows that. Some people play quite a lot, don't know the names of all the notes that they're playing yes yeah so so that's that's just to, so we make sure we're on the same page when i'm telling you what note to play so this tune starts out i'm just going to give you the first little taste of it here but let's let's play the scale first so we're going to start on let's all start on d open d and we're going to play up to the d on the a string or the third finger okay and we're going to play two beats per note so it's going to be da 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 like that okay so one two and pull when I'm practicing usually is uh, I try not to play any vibrato when I'm playing my scales just because vibrato can, is good but it can cover up your intonation just something to keep in mind <laughs> but it's nice to be knowing that you're yes. playing the right note here because <laughs> yeah. no, yeah. if you make it really wide you know <laughs> there, there used to be an old guy over at Jefferson City who I grew up not far from there and his name was Jimmy Gilmore. He was an old railroad conductor, uh, railroad engineer, but he played the fiddle. And we used to say he had a vibrato you could drive a truck through because <laughs> it was just, it was really wide. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to play uh, from the D here all the way up to the B on the E string using all the only the notes that go with D. So, so for the first, everybody didn't have any trouble with that, but I'll just another way of looking at it. I use these finger patterns. So for for the D and A string, it's this pattern, because there's an open string, a space, the E, a space, the F sharp, a D, a space, and then this would be the octave or the next string over. But on the A, on the E string, we're going to play this. A pattern looks like this. We're going to play an, the open string, a space, that would, and then F sharp, G right next to it, a space, then D, or then e, A, A, and then B out here. Okay. So it's gonna. Let's just start right here, and we're gonna play all the way up from all the way from this guy all the way up to this one, right? Okay. All right. Here we go. Two beats again, but I'll make it pretty fast so we don't do this all day. Okay. One, two, ready, go. out there. Uh-huh. Yeah, great. Now we're going to do one more thing. I just want to mention something else. I'll just throw in some little tidbits as we go along, but the note, two notes that I tend to play out of tune most, and most people would tend to do this, is First, it's the note that you play with your second finger, because that can be two notes, right? It can, like on your D string, it can be either the F sharp or the F nat natural, and you, sometimes I end up playing one that's not either one, you know, just one right between. So just something to keep in mind. And the other place that we get in trouble with our intonation a lot of times is coming down. Like we do really good going up. When we come back down, that note right there tends to be, might be flat, might be sharp. So the way to check it, of course, is all you got the string below. You can just see it, see where you are. Okay, so that's just something to be aware of. It's a, a common intonation problems, and I still make those same mistakes myself after playing for many years. 
So now we're going to do one more thing is we're going to go down to the on the G string and the pattern I use on the G string looks like this because it's the D note or the octave of the D on the G string with your fourth finger but we'll play it open. Then the C sharp, the B and the A on the G string. So what we're going to do is we're going to play all the way, we're going to start right here on G and play all the way up here to B on the E string. Just just two quick beats per each, just so we know where all the notes are. Then you will have played all the notes in D on all four strings. Okay, so let's start right here. Now C sharp sounds weird. Let's just go on and play our tune now. There's one more thing I want to do is to play arpeggio though. And that means arpeggio is all the notes of the chord played like a scale. So in D, it's we're going to play all the D's, A, F sharps, and A's from here all the way up to here. Okay, so we're going to start right here. Let me just play it for you real quick just so it'd be, it's going to sound like this. I'm not going to play quite that fast, so it's going to be starting right here on this A. So it's going to be all the A's, that's all the D's, F sharps, and A's. Okay? Because the reason we practice arpeggios is these fiddle tunes are just loaded with them, you know. And if you've, anytime you've played something before, it's like ground one that's, that you've already plowed, you know, you know where to go. So. Okay, so let's start right here. Open D, now the F sharp, up the third finger, or open A, third finger. First finger on the E. Keep it. Come on back down. F sharp. Now D. Open A. Second finger. Uh huh. Yeah, that's it. 